I'm Cam with Racked, and we are here with 3x1 founder Scott Morrison, and he is going to tell us how to find the best raw denim. So Scott, let's just jump right in. I come into the store, what's the first thing I need to know? First thing I look for is the type of denim itself. And one of the most obvious ways to kind of look at or assess a type of denim is to look at the color. There's traditionally two main casts that most jeans are made from. This is a green cast and this is a red cast. A red cast denim is something that's more typically found of a traditional American jean. And a green cast denim is more specific to Japan or Europe. So if you have a preference of having a more iconic looking jean, something maybe like jeans from 1920s, red cast is probably your direction. If you want something that's a bit more modern, a bit more Japanese, then you're probably gonna think about greens. What else do I need to know if I'm trying to find the best pair of raw denim? One of the things you need to look for is is the raw denim made out of shuttle limb denim or is it made out of wide width fabric? It's the difference between the two is that selvage denim actually has a band of color. Yeah. It's about half the width and it's considerably more expensive. The smaller fabric was woven with something called a shuttle and it produces basically a perfectly finished edge. And this perfectly finished edge is called the self edge. By contrast, more modern day weaving will cut the yarns at each end of the material. Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing here is basically this. Why is starch so important to the denim? Starch is important to us as on the manufacturing side because of course we have to spread the material, we have to cut it, we have to use it in the sewing line and it's basically sew with it. This is a good example of a starched denim and a non-starch denim and you can see how different they are from mm -hmm. a non-ability standpoint. This is super soft, really easy. This unstarched denim is fantastic for guys who don't want to go through a break-in period. Mm -hmm. What is the last and very most important thing that I need to know when buying raw denim? I think the thing most people don't understand about raw denim is that raw denim is gonna grow. If you buy a pair of raw jeans today, by the end of the day, it's gonna have grown somewhere between a half and a full size. Raw denim will continue to grow until that first washing. But the beauty of raw denim, again, is you want all of that starch to be penetrated into the yarn and you want all of that starch to help remove the indigo throughout you know, that initial wearing process. So it should be uncomfortably tight. So I think these are it. Thank you so much to the 3x1 team who taught me everything I need to know to find my perfect pair of denim. <laughs>